Hello and welcome to lesson 3 of our Shopify GA4 crash course. Now we will do the migration step from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. I know it's not pleasant to see this warning on your Google Analytics account every time you log in or keep receiving emails from Google saying that you need to migrate, you need to migrate and you need to migrate. Okay, now we will do that. But let me tell you what migration is first. First of all, there isn't such thing as a complete migration. For instance, your data in Universal Analytics will always remain there. So we cannot take your data and put into Google Analytics 4. That will never happen. So what will happen? What we can migrate? We will start doing that uh, in this video now. By the time I am recording this video, as you can see, there is only 19, 19 days left. 19 days left to what? For Universal Analytics to stop collecting data but your Universal Analytics property will still stay there for one more year. So your old data will be accessible from there. It's just it will stop collecting data, so you will have to start using Google Analytics 4. And then let's talk about what is migration. Actually, what I want to do here now, of course, let's do a quick overview of what it is. Now, here we are in the third lesson of our Shopify GA4 crash course, which is Universal Analytics to GA4 migration. And what does migration mean? First of all, it's the tracking structure, right? Your data flowing into GA4 property. So if your, if your GA4 already collects the data, that means you are good there. And then custom events. Do you have some custom events on your store? Let's say you have a video on your homepage and then you, you set up a custom event to track that video or something like that. That's also important. And then we have some migratable assets like audiences, goals. Mainly, I think what I understand from migration the most is actually reports and the habits. For instance, every day I still go to Universal Analytics first. I check my reports there because that's my habit. That's where I know the best. That's where I have my saved reports and shortcuts, etc. I think that will be even harder to migrate our habits and our usage. Um, and also it's not that easy to find all the reports that we look in Universal Analytics in GA4. We will have a special lesson about reports. Um, so in this video, I will not dive so much into reports. We will now more talk about migratable assets uh, and obviously this warning in the GA4. And by the end of the video, make sure to stick around till the end because then we will check Google Ads conversion action. I think this is so important because I know some of you still use Universal Analytics as the primary conversion source in Google Ads. This is so dangerous because when it stops working, it will stop working. So your conversion tracking will stop working and you can imagine how it will affect your campaigns negatively. We don't want that. So we will also check your Google Ads account and make sure that your primary conversion tracking source is not you, eh? And if it is, I will let you know what to do about it. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I dive into technical details of Universal Analytics to GA4 migration, I would like to mention that we at Analyzify has a service package for Universal Analytics to GA4 migration. On top of our great Shopify app, we offer you a to migration service package as an add-on to help you migrate from Universal Analytics to GA4 properly done by professionals. It covers migrating audiences, goals, filters, settings, creating Shopify specific custom GA4 reports, fine tuning your GA4 technical settings, and many other things which I will also be walking you through throughout this course. If you are a do-it-yourself lover, then stay with the course and do everything one by one yourself. But if you want to leave the setup to experts, then you can choose Analyzeify plus our add-on to do this for you. Learn more about Analyzeify on our website or on the Shopify app store. Now let's go back to our lesson. I go into my Universal Analytics account and then this warning is there. I will click this time, go to GA4 Setup Assistant. Setup Assistant is divided into sections and there are seven things that you need to mark complete. The first one is the data collection. If you have the GA4 data flowing, in my case it is, then this means this is actually done. So you could simply come here and mark as complete. But before you do that, I strongly recommend you to watch the next video, which is the troubleshooting, so that let's make sure your GA4 actually properly collects data. Because if, if we are not sure about it, then you shouldn't mark it complete. By the way, 
Nothing will happen when you mark it complete. This is just a checklist. It doesn't do anything special, but still it's a good feature that Google provided us. So let's use it properly. And then Google suggests you to turn on Google signals. I haven't done it in my property. Again, this thing, I will touch base on the sixth lesson, which is GA4 settings. Google signals is good to use, but it's not directly related with the migration. So that's not the topic of us. Conversions. Okay, here we are. We start now. In Universal Analytics, we had goals. But here, we don't have goals anymore. We have conversions. Um, pretty much the same thing. Of course, conversions are much more... Um, conversions are actually more flexible and it is more comprehensive. Um, but it's not as easy as goals. Goals were quite easy to set. We could just set a destination or event and it would, stop work. It would start working. Conversions work slightly differently, but now we are talking about the migrations. So let's talk about the migration only, but I should let you know though, in our complete course, in our upcoming Shopify GA4 complete course, I will have a special lesson about the conversions, custom conversions. It's comprehensive, powerful. So there I hope to walk you through more in depth, but now we are only talking about migration. So here it says set up migrations. When I click here, I have the option import from Universal Analytics. Let's click. Then as you can see here, it already shows me all the goals that I had in Universal Analytics. And if I just click here, it will import them into GA4. As you can see here, now it asks me to set, them, to set up an event name because there isn't something called goals now. There are conversions and conversions actually come from events. So we can take an event and set that event as a conversion. For instance, purchase event is automatically set as conversion. And now here it just asks me to give names to these events. And of course, my store is a B2B store, so I have different kinds of conversions. Probably you had like normal purchase and that kind of conversions, but it doesn't matter. The ones that you want to import, you can choose, name them, and then click import selected conversions. Then it will ask you a verification. I'll say continue. And now they are important. So I did this section. Now let's go to the second important thing, which is audiences. If you are not using audiences in Universal Analytics, you don't need to worry about it. Because I know not many merchants use only audiences, honestly. They have some audiences, somebody set it up once upon a time, but they are not actively used. But maybe you are actively using it in some reports or even in Google Ads. So in that case, it's good to import the audiences. Unfortunately, Importing audiences is not as easy or as straightforward as importing conversions. It's a little bit a multi-stop process. So I'll just click now import. It will lead me to a support article. There is some um, tool called GA4 Migrator for Google Analytics. That is an official Google tool. As you can see here, I have already installed it, but let me uninstall it for you so that we can uh, do it together. Now I will install it again. Don't worry about this uh, low rating. I guess this is given by the people who did not know how to do it. And maybe they had some issues. I'm quite happy with this tool. It works quite well. And as you can see here, it explains under the spreadsheet, it will be in the add ons section. So I'll just click OK. And now I'm going into article again. I always like to follow articles one by one. So install the add-on, which I did. And now it says, go to Google Sheet, create a new Google Sheet. Okay, let's do. And then extensions, add-ons. Sorry, here it is. Extensions, and then as I already added, GA4 Migrator for Google Analytics. Now migrate audience definitions to GA4. I'll just choose it. I mean, it looks a little bit scary here. It looks too technical, but it's actually not. You'll just choose your um, Google Analytics account here. And then the Universal Analytics property that you want to migrate the audiences from. Once you choose it, then there will be a button here, import audiences. Now it will take the audience list into the left section. Here it is. 
some of them are marked with yellow and some of them are orange. That means the yellow ones are ready to migrate. The orange ones are not migratable. GA4 and Universal Analytics are using different data models and they are pretty much different products actually. So not everything is migratable or not everything is possible to use in the exact same way. There are technical explanations which I will not dive now, I will talk more about them in our complete course. But now I have two audiences that are ready to migrate and four audiences that are not unfortunately ready to migrate. The reasons are explained here if you are interested in but if you can come here and click this button, select all migratable audiences, it will migrate those audiences into GA4. So now um, that should be done. I'll just click OK. And now I need to choose GA4 property that these audiences should be transferred to. After I chose it, I should wait a little bit so that this migrate button will be available to click. Sometimes it is buggy, you just need to choose another property or choose again. Uh, and now that's what I did and it came. If I click migrate, this operation in process, it will take some time, but then the migration will be completed. Now the audience's migration is also completed. What happened now is that we imported the conversions goals in Universal Analytics and conversions in GA4. And now we also migrated the audiences from Universal Analytics to GA4. That means we actually did these two important steps. Apart from that, there isn't actually much to migrate. Like there isn't such thing as automated migration. There are some settings that you can carry manually one by one, but we will be doing it in our settings section. Now, um, actually we are done here with the migration, but as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, what we should be doing is the Google Ads. Here now GA4 warns you, please link to Google Ads. You should do this, this is very important. Once you link your GA4 account with Google Ads, then Google Ads at GA4 starts data sharing and you can also import conversions goals with the old name into Google Ads. But now I will not do that. What I will do, I will open a Google Ads account and show you the conversions section. I just want to make sure that you are not using UA as your main primary conversion tracking source. Now here we are in Google Ads conversion screen. I just clicked tools and settings. Under measurement, click conversions. To see this page, go to your Google Ads account. Under tools and settings, you will see conversions. Just click into that. Now we are looking at purchase conversion action. And as you can see here in this setup, there are one primary conversion and three secondary conversions. And one of those secondary conversions are actually coming from the universal analytics. This is how it should be. If you have a universal analytics conversion there, it shouldn't be your primary conversion because once again, it will stop working. Ideally, you should be using a native conversion source, which is written here as website, and then also GA4 as a backup. Additionally, you should have one primary action only. I will not enter so many details here because I have a long video series about Google Ads conversion health check for Shopify merchants. I will link that video around here so that you can find your way around. But as you can see in this example, this merchant had one conversion action, primary conversion, and then we installed our Analyzify conversion tracking action there. And as you can see here, Analyzify conversion tracking action counted 10 plus conversion and with the value maybe 10, 15 plus more, 10-15% uh, more conversion value. And then we have the GA4 conversion action. GA4, as you can see, did not record as much as the others. All these differences also because of attribution models. Um, so you will not, you will always see these little differences in between. But also, of course, it's about the integration methods. Here, Analyzify's conversion tracking is working much better and recording more conversions. Of course, recording more conversions means better attribution, and that also means better campaigns. Going back to our topic, if your universal analytics conversion is primary, you should change it immediately. You should make your universal analytics secondary and primary, you should use a native conversion. Once again, 
We have a complete video series on Google Ads conversion tracking for Shopify merchants. I will link it below and then you can visit and make sure that you follow best practices there. So I think we covered all the topics at the moment about UA to GA for migration. Once again, we migrated the audiences and goals. Now they are available to use in GA4. Of course, there is a lot more to do, but for now we have done the most crucial action items. Once again, if you are interested in Analyzify has a service package covering this UA to GA4 migration. Additionally, on our upcoming video series, in our complete Shopify GA4 course, we will touch base this topic again and we will check it more in depth. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next video.